lots of hams. Holy cow. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to another video. Some fence. Is there anything under it? There's not. I don't know if we'll be able to get into anything good today or not. It's a Christmas tree. Sure do see a lot of those this time of year. Anyway, we're gonna get out here and give it our best shot and see what we can pull. Dang, what is that? Hmm. Some decent scrap metal. I might come back for that later tonight. There's a milk crate. Yes, I will grab that. It's a good stepping stool. That was worth the stop at this one anyway. Milk crates are forever handy. I don't see anything, but I don't know why this is not in the trash. The box is bigger than you are. Isn't it right? I'll put it back in there for him. Hmm. Might as well get the grabbers. I think I see a bag down in there. Okay. Got him. Gosh, that mm -hmm. was a good one. This one here I was questioning because I'm like, what is in there? See, some gloves and a few other things. Okay. Let's get the goodies. All right, we'll do so. Oh, what is that? Puzzle. Oh, cool. Yeah, here's some gloves. Oh, look, some of these things that you use. Zip ties. Yes. Yes. Oh, little melty things. What are those called? I can't think right now. I don't yeah, want no either. plastic plate, but okay. Not bad. Does it for this bag, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I would have stopped just for the zip ties, but we got the gloves, the wax melts. Nice. Good yes, job. Yes, wax melts. Push that down. Ow, it shocked me. I heard that. I felt it. <gasps> Bags on the other side. Hey, that's frozen. Uh, what is that? Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's just um, sauce stuff. That stuff you can grab, it's not cold, oh, okay. refrigerated stuff. Okay. Grab those grabbers. Okay. Definitely. There's Let another one down them. there. Look, there's one more down there. There's quite a few bags in here, huh? Well, let's talk, grab that before it goes down further if this? you can. Oh, that. I don't know if you'll be able to fish that up or not, to be honest. Good job. Ah, I try to fumble and it slips out of my hands. <laughs> There's uh, lunch meat, huh? It's probably no good. Okay, this has got to be a... Okay, what? What's in here? This big bag right here. Come on. Well, I'm trying to figure out which way to hook it. it. That's not it, though. Oh. And the grabbers are stuck in it. What the heck oh did that gosh. happen? Okay. It's this big bag right here. I'm wondering what could possibly be inside of it. Oh, okay. Just a bunch of paper. Okay. Ooh, that one looks heavy. It is. Okay. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Another heavy one, huh? 
Well, not really, but. Here, let's set this down and look through it real quick. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna see on this one way over here if I can hook it. Let's have a look. Oops. I don't want that one. What you got? Some canned goods. Nice. And the boot, it's broken. That would have been cool though. Okay. How's it looking up there? Nothing. Oh, nice. It's looking good down there. Yeah. Another one of those. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Come on, sorry. I know I'm sitting on something obviously. Okay. Was there nothing in your other bag? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Same for this. Set that right there so you can dig. Literal trash. So far, I'm not finding anything else in any of these other bags. While you're doing that, I'm going to load up the old canned goods down here. This is a very interesting, different kind of bag here. It's a stretchy one. Some coffee. It doesn't have the um, lid to it, but it's good. So, we'll set that here. Okay. Let's see what else we got in this. What? You just found Folgers? Yeah. Um, here's a picture frame. It's not broken. The back's just a little loose on it. Here's another picture frame. That okay. piece is broken, but you can still hang it on the wall. Okay. Looks like that is all I'm seeing in any of these other bags here. Wait a minute. There's something down here in the bottom of this bag. I can't believe you found a folder. Are you super excited about that or oh, what? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I guess that's the rest of a broken boot. Yeah, I found a couple of those. I guess they okay. dropped Not them or something. You want to see something crazy? What? Look. Oh, I know. I, I saw. I heard you step in that. Okay, I cool. did. I stepped on it. I was like, what in the world did I just step in? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> we don't see too much of that frozen water stuff. Nice. Could I interest you in a hand wipe, dear? Absolutely. And don't these kill some high percentage of germs and bacteria? They definitely do. Huh. Well, cool. <laughs> so in some ways, these are more and more effective than, than gloves. And they make your hands feel so much cleaner. You know what would be nasty? If you're getting in and out of the vehicle with gloves on, touching everything in here. You know? Never thought of that. Just infecting the whole cabin of the truck, steering wheel, everything. <laughs> You don't say. But I still feel like we should wear gloves. Nah. Let's see. Let's jump in and check those bags. I'm talking about. Oh boy. The dumpster's all tippy. This is full, you guys. This one right here. Let's see. Oh dear. 
I could not help but laugh my butt off just now. When the dumpster stuff Yes, the away. whole entire dumpster was literally that. shaking <laughs> with you like in it. <laughs> I almost hit record on my phone and then it literally stopped. <laughs> it looked so funny. The dang dumpster's off balance. Oh it's my like gosh, a that was salt. great. I wonder what's in that. Okay. <laughs> I want to take a quick second, guys, to thank some people really quickly. Uh, this is for the truck fund. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Shelia Salpietra. She pitched a hundred bucks into the pot, and wow. that's her second time to pitch into. The first time was also a hundred bucks. So, very, very generous of you. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have Kathy Yarnall. She pitched twenty-five dollars into the pot which is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And we have, and finally we have Andrea Freisley pitched $5 into the pot. I appreciate you guys very, very much. That brings the grand total to $740 for the truck fund. Nice. We'll be taking road trips and diving in that thing before long. That's awesome. It's pretty Congratulations. crazy. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Right, I really do appreciate it. one of my favorite dumpsters here. Um, not a lot going on on the inside of the dumpster, but those are some pallets. I'm grabbing one of these for a little project me and the boys have going on. Actually, let's take a look at that right now. So this is the project. This started out as one of those little kid carriers that goes behind the bicycles. Uh, and we just kind of crafted it into what you see now, which is basically just a utility trailer for a bicycle. Uh, it's really cool. My idea was so that when we went to the campgrounds, uh, if Stacy was gone with a truck, we'd have something to haul... Uh, you know, things like trash to the dumpster or fishing poles and a couple of buckets to the uh, to the water. So it's pretty cool. We threw some fresh paint on the wheels, some paint on the frame, and then we just added the decking, which is what the pallet was for. So pretty darn cool. They had a lot of fun with it, and so did I. And it looks great. I've been meaning to show this to you guys, too. This is a little hay fork kind of thing that we found in the dumpster uh, quite some time ago. And it ended up being one of my favorite tools. It was broken when we got it, but we were still able to use it. And finally, the fiberglass handle on it gave out. And I didn't have nothing going on one day, so I brought it out to the shed. And it took me about two hours getting the old handle off and getting the new one on. Uh, we replaced it with just a regular old wooden handle that I had laying around. And we repaired one of my favorite tools for the garden. Um, I was wondering, I was asking myself, why I was putting so much time and effort into this thing that probably only cost 20 20 bucks or so you know and um, we went into tractor supply uh, a few I guess about a week after I, I got finished repairing it and rebuilding it and those stinking things are like 80 bucks after taxes so I was pretty blown away by that super glad to have been able to fix it it's absolutely one of my favorite tools for the garden which we've been making some progress with the garden as well we'll have to show that when it's not raining and cold but we should have it ready by spring, hopefully. All right, here we go, guys. Sadly, they have been dumping the food in here and just making a mess of it. Where's the stuff? They what? dumped it. What is table cream? What is it? Table cream? Oh, oh, shit fire, look at these guys. <laughs> Bag of apples, yeah, I think I have one of those over here too. Ow, I just hit myself in the head with a box. Like hard. Dang, I got a couple of those. Dude, you should see my hands. You got most, a bunch of hams over oh, there? Oh yeah, I got a lot of ham. How many of those are here? I got like one or two more. Oh look, you got a honey yeah. ham? Dude, I gotta get a crate to stand. Oh my gosh, there's so much in there. Let's see what we can grab. Ooh, that's busted. Yeah, another ham. There you go. Ham. A ham for you, baby. A <laughs> ham for you. I won't even be able to carry that. You got a hot and ready pizza? It's cold and ready? Yeah, it's not hot anymore. <laughs> Dang. Holy moly, guys, look. Here you go. 
Oh, wow. That's a buttload of ham. Oh, goodness. That's... Oh, what is this? Nice. Dude, look. Oh, yeah. Look. There's the lid for it. These are so expensive. Yes. Let's make a... Let's make some a box of oranges. I have... Oh, my gosh. A ton of oranges at the house. Just fix up the box for somebody else? Yeah, here. Huh. Start putting the stuff in this box. Oh, I was going to set it there for somebody else. I know, that's fine. We're going to make a couple of boxes. There's a ton of stuff here. Just hold the camera. So trying to figure out what table cream is. I don't know. Slightly sweet taste and something. Ooh, here. Oh, yes, I love those. cantaloupes. Here, hand it to me. Dad's at the house. Maybe we ought to take two, huh? Sure. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. Take them. Oh, yeah, there's some more. Yes. That one's really good. And they just grew a little deformed. That's fine. No, I'm just saying. Shoot. To them, it wasn't fine because they threw them in the trash. Some mushrooms, we'll leave those in the box. More apples. That's anything else? Yeah, another cantaloupe. Oh, look. Hmm? I almost missed a couple of these guys. Oh, Molly. Whoa. A big one, too. That. Is no good. <laughs> Dang. I'll leave those for somebody else to grab. You know, we've already got like 14, huh? <sighs> yeah, we got a ton. Whew. Oh my gosh, there's more. Some bread, some old bananas, those are real old. Yeah. And some big old fatty oranges. Got one real bad one in there, but lots of other good ones. Yeah, so somebody else can come through here and grab this. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so hams and uh, cantaloupes, a uh, pot there. Grab my crate. <laughs> lots of hams. Holy cow. Yeah, holy ham. <laughs> What you gonna do with all them hands? All them hands, huh? All them hands. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do with all them hands? I'm gonna watch you pick them up. It's heavy. And these, I'm gonna put these in the box for somebody else to come along and grab. There we go. Whew. It's gonna be a heavy bag, heavy ooh, box. You got it though, you got muscles, dude. Holy crap. All right, we are back home here at the house. Uh, we're done with the dive. It was a decent one, not too bad. We've got a bag of goodies in here. I see some rid rigid ruffles. What are these? Good chips. Um, then over here, we have an entire tote full of hams. Let's go take a look inside and see exactly what we got. All right, so now we're gonna take a look inside this mystery bag. We shall see what's inside. Oh wow. Chips. Kettle potato chips. I think those are my favorite kind of chips is the kettle. Oh really? The kettle? <laughs> okay. Um, we got Ridges dill pickle. Yeah. We have found a lot of these here lately. The uh, Chester's Poppers I Jalapeno try. Cheese Whirl. I try not to eat much of those, but they are scrumptious. All right, looks like from this point on, the uh, microphone actually died. So uh, we'll just take a look and do a little bit of a voiceover. Found a lot of chips in this bag, some good stuff too. 
Looks like we got some bowls there. Two of those ended up being broken. The other were just fine. They're a cool little shape. Uh, I've actually, I actually used one of those to eat cantaloupe out of, actually. So, a meal from the dumpster, eight in a bowl from the dumpster. Some more chips. It was a chip bag loaded with that stuff. I've been trying to cut down on a lot of that stuff. Previously, we would keep a lot of the chips, but I've been donating most of that. A really nice little planter. I don't think there was anything wrong with that, actually. Pretty nice. Lots of goodies in the way of chips. Now, that produce that you see in the background over there, uh, that is actually stuff that we found from a different dive. Um, if you noticed in this video, we didn't take any of the produce. I just had so much here at the house that we had to process. And uh, the plan for that is to go ahead and clean it up, uh, disinfect it, and um, that's going to be donated as well. Um, that is like a magic eraser of some sort. I don't know if you guys have ever used that, but Stacy was pretty excited to find that because it's something she's been wanting to try. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for removing stains, so pretty cool there. She's just going on about it. <laughs> she was excited. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it pretty much it we got the bowls the planters it's the bowls the planter a bunch of chips the mr. clean thing just loaded with chips a really nice grab bag I did keep some of them but uh, like I said I'm trying to get away from all the junk food and stuff not entirely but some oh that was some uh, glitter glue actually Kane was pretty excited to see that some glitter glue and there's some more chips this bag was like Snoopy's doghouse it just it kept going and kept going and kept going uh, now that's pretty cool that actually goes along with the glue that's stuff to make slime out of glue and uh, they actually did do that and they had some fun doing it so that was pretty cool you can see Kane reaching for it there he was he heard us talk and he he tries to stay <laughs> she said no he tries to stay out of frame and uh, not bother too much when we're doing the videos but he just couldn't help himself when he found out he could make his own slime he had a lot of fun doing that it was pretty cool then here we actually found some of these little torch lighters uh, those are kind of cool uh, they work really well in the wind and also you can solder with them so that's kind of nice. It produces a pretty high intense but small and controlled flame. So if you're doing some fine soldering, uh, those are actually a pretty handy tool to have. Stacy's struggling, struggling there to get it lit. But they do both work. There was two of them, as you can see there. Works just fine. Pretty cool. She's having too much fun. <laughs> Stacy was pretty devastated here. She found her a bag of combos, which she loves, but as you can tell, they were already opened. I might have set something down on it and popped that bag, but we just prefer not to take a chance, you know. Anything sealed is cool, but uh, some more chips there. Lots of stuff in that bag. The bag, it, it, looking at the big pile, of, there's some Loctite. I love Loctite. I wish that would have been in there. It unfortunately was not. Some of my favorite stuff, and it's very handy to have around. But uh, looking at that pile back there, I'm honestly surprised that all of that fit inside that bag. It's a lot of stuff. The boy's chomping at the bit there to make his glitter slime. Super excited about that. <laughs> I wish we could hear what he was saying, but he was super excited about it. I got some good kids, y'all. I'm sure proud of them, boys. Proud of all my kids, definitely. More proud of them than anything else in this world, that's for sure. So that's it on the grab bags. Um, a lot of stuff to donate there. We have the fruits in the back that we're going to donate. Normally I wouldn't even donate produce, but right now this anything that we put in there is just flying off the shelf. So then back here, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to tell, but I think there was something like between nine and thirteen hams. That tote right there literally weighs over a hundred pounds. So over a hundred pounds of pork. I think those hams were anywhere from twenty to twenty-five dollars a piece. Uh, so very, very thankful to have uh, been able to save those. I wish we could put those in the blessing box, but unfortunately can't. They're, they're all good. They still had another, I think, month on uh, on their Best Buy date. So pretty crazy.
I want to say thank you so much to you guys uh, for supporting us in the ways that you do. Everybody, everybody here, the people watching the video right now, the members, the people that throw into the tip jar, everybody, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, it's because of y'all that we get to get out there and, and do what we do and save what we save and, and do the good that we do. Without y'all, none of this is possible, and I absolutely and 100% mean that. So thank y'all from the bottom of my heart.